Hi everyone, in today's class we'll be simplifying fractions together. Our goal is to reduce the fractions and make them simpler. Let's solve a few examples. We'll start with the first example which is 12.18. Let's solve it together. We need to simplify this fraction with you. When reducing fractions, guys, you can write it down as you find convenient. However, I still suggest jotting down all of your actions at the start when you are studying. What do I see? I see the numbers 12 and 18. What can these numbers be divided into? I repeat once again that you can simplify the fraction step by step and you will still come to the result. The only thing is, every time you need to verify whether this fraction can be simplified or not, Let's start with our example, 12 and 18. 12 and 18 can be divided by 2. Furthermore, I divide the given number 18 by 2 to calculate the final result accurately. Hence, we obtain 12 halves as 6 and 18 halves as 9. The numbers 6 and 9 have an extra common factor, which is 3. In other words, when I divide 6 by 3, I get this result. This shows that 6 and 9 share more than one divisor and three is one of those divisors they have in common. And I will also divide nine by three. Consequently, I obtain two thirds as the outcome. And this, folks, is an irreducible fraction that cannot be simplified. Only after that, I finish my actions. So the answer will be two thirds. Someone among you will shorten it in a slightly different manner. He will not divide it by two and then by three. Someone will divide it into six right away. And this will also be true. That is, I can immediately reduce 12 eighteenths to six. 12 can be divided evenly by six and 18 can also be evenly divided by six. If I divide 12 by 6, I will get 2. 18 divided by 6 will also be 3. As a consequence, I will obtain precisely the identical response. 2 thirds is an irreducible fraction. What is the discrepancy that arises when this fraction is reduced? Please provide the exact difference in numerical value. In the initial case and in the subsequent case, the aspect to consider is that two is a commonly shared divisor between them. Three is also a commonly used divisor. In the second example, six is a HCF highest common factor. That's the whole difference in these actions. So you can choose any path to simplify this fraction. Either divide by common divisors or immediately divide by the greatest common divisor. The only difference is that here you perform one action and then another action. In this case, you perform only one action. At the next lesson, we'll try to simplify fractions with you again. That's all for today. Goodbye, until we meet again.